Lesson 28, Session 2, page 648. Problem number two says, find 19 plus 9. 19 plus 9. Here they have 19 plus 1 plus 8. I wonder why they did that. Let's look at what 19 and 9 is to start with. We're going to draw our own picture. So if we have 19, you can see that we have tens and we have ones and there is one 10. There's my 10 stick and we have nine ones. One one, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones, new line, six ones, seven ones, eight ones, nine ones, one ten and nine ones. We have that evidence and that evidence, but we're adding another nine. But when I'm looking at this down here, it doesn't show me nine, it shows me a one and an eight. I wonder why it says a one and an eight. Let's look back over here. We had nine ones. How many more do you think we need to make a group of 10? We need one more. So from the, that number nine, they used that make a 10 strategy and they needed to take the nine and break it into two groups. So let's draw nine ones, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can cross out that one and move it up here to make a group of 10. Now I see what they did because now they have eight here and one, oops, and one here. So they broke down the nine into a one and an eight. Now you can see we have two tens, which is 20, 10, 20, plus eight more ones, 20 plus eight equals 28. And 19 plus nine is 28. The next problem, three, says find 65 plus eight. And it says 65 plus five plus three. Let's look at this in tens and ones. Think about the number five in 65. How many more do you need to get to the number 10? Five. That's our addition double, five and five make 10, right? So they took that eight and redistributed it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they put five on one side and three on the other side. So 65 and five make what? 70. And three more ones, 70 plus three equals 73. So 65 plus five plus three is also 73. So 65 plus eight is also 73. Let's do problem number four. I'm going to clear the screen and move the problem up. We're gonna look at problem four and problem five. Here it says, find 22 plus six. So they looked at 22 as tens 
and ones and drew two tens, 10, 10, which has a value of 20, right? And two ones, one, one, two ones, and then they drew six more ones. One, one, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones, six ones. And when you put them together, those two ones moving over here, one, two, that gives us a total of eight ones. So we have 20 plus eight equals 28. Problem five says 34 crows and five jays. How many birds all together? All together is a joining word. So we know we are going to add. So we are going to add 34 plus five. 34 plus five. Let's break that down into tens and ones. Tens and ones. So here we're going to add three tens that are in the tens place and four ones, one one, two ones, three ones, four ones, and then we're going to add five more ones, one one, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones. So now we have 10, 20, 30, plus nine equals 39. There are 39 birds all together. 